I'm sure you've felt this way before. Thinking too much about something, going over it again and again in your mind, often focusing on the negatives or what could go wrong. It's like your brain is stuck on a loop, analyzing and reanalyzing situations, decisions or worries. I've been there. It's like a storm inside your mind, relentless and overpowering. Today I want to share with you not just my struggle with overthinking, but how I found the strength to break free. Overthinking can be a never-ending cycle. For me, it was particularly intense during times of change and uncertainty. While I was pregnant, my mind often raced with what ifs. But I had a secret weapon, my personal toolbox of strategies. These tools helped me stay grounded and navigate through the storm of thoughts. However, after giving birth, life got busier and I started neglecting these practices. Juggling new motherhood, I did not realize I was slipping back into old patterns. Then, last week, a situation related to my baby girl triggered my overthinking loop. I caught myself obsessing over something that, mm, realistically, was not deserving of such worry. So, days went by and I was getting into that overthinking loop deeper and deeper. My mind was picturing negative scenarios, leading me to question my heart, my intuition and even my belief system. Sometimes choosing love and trust over fear is a tough battle, particularly when it involves our loved ones. This is when I realized I was stuck in the lower spectrum of emotions. Trying to think my way out of the problem only attracted more of what I did not want. Because the vibration of a problem is the opposite to the vibration of a solution. So it's like a snowball effect. The more you focus on the problem, the larger it grows, dragging you further down into negativity. This was my wake-up call. I realized that in neglecting my mental health, I had all of it this storm of our thinking to regain its strength. These mind games were serious, I'm not gonna lie, and I was done being a player. It was time to revisit my toolbox, the one I had developed over time, and reintegrate those strategies into my life. So this week I am committed to finding time in my busy life as a mom to engage in practices that bring me into alignment. It's crucial for me to set aside time to be silent and at peace in nature. It's been a while since I last did this, but I definitely need this serene time for myself. Nature is so healing and yeah, I just need to spend more time in nature. This one is interesting because when you discuss your thoughts with someone, like for example, I discuss my worries with my husband, it's kind of bringing new perspective, you know. My husband has been great at noticing my overthinking patterns and he helps me break free from them. I used to do yoga and breath work every single day, but it's been two, two and a half months since I've done any intentional movement and here I am. I had planned to do this little session eight, eight days ago. It did not happen, something always came up. Gosh, I used to think I was busy, you know, but having a newborn, it changes everything. It's kind of a whole new level of busy, but better late than never, right?
exercise, even 15 minutes of yoga, breath work can make such a big difference. These practices have always been a cornerstone in helping me stay grounded in the present and reduce overthinking. Mindfulness teaches me to observe my thoughts without getting into them. And since life got so busy, I only can find time for meditations and affirmations during nursing, but that's okay as well. Regularly acknowledging what I'm grateful for helps shift my mindset from negative overthinking to a more positive outlook. I used to journal daily about gratitude and this week I'm committed to resuming my journaling practice. Also, gratitude is my word for the year. I talked about it in my previous video. It's the feeling I want to embrace more of this year. So hopefully I will have time for journaling all my blessings. Listening to my heart has always led me better than my overthinking mind. It tells me when I am not in alignment with my true self. The heart knows the truth and is filled with love, not fear. Engaging into activities that require my full attention, like hobbies or physical exercise, has always helped me a lot. I used to make ceramics, which was a wonderful escape for me. I also like gardening. For now, I only have my little pots on the balcony, but my ultimate goal is to have a homestead with a huge garden and live sustainable on my land. And now mothering my baby has become my hobby, my job and honestly my everything. And I'm so so grateful for that. Cooking is another form of therapy for me, although I don't have much time for it right now. It's kind of necessary to find some moments for cooking. If I don't, I tend to reach for unhealthy foods and postpartum hunger is real. Are there any moms out there who find themselves reaching for late night treats during these first few months after birth? I feel you. I've been eating tons of chocolate, but enough is enough. It's time to switch to healthier sweets, like this sweet potato carrot cake. It's delicious and will satisfy my cravings for a couple of days. At least a couple of days. And I've created a detailed step-by-step -step guide for this delicious recipe for you guys. You can download it by clicking the link in the description box below. It's no wonder I found myself spiraling back into the overthinking loop recently. I had not been engaging in these practices that previously helped me. This journey has truly opened my eyes to the immense power through the power of self-care and awareness. Overthinking might feel overwhelming at times, but I want to assure you, with determination and the right tools, it is manageable. If you guys find yourself struggling with overthinking, remember, you are not alone. We all have the inner strength to overcome these challenges and find peace. It's about taking one step at a time and being kind to ourselves in the process. For those of you seeking more tools to live a more mindful and peaceful life, I've linked a special video for you to watch. It's packed with insights and strategies that have personally helped me on my journey. Thank you for joining me on this journey and I hope my story helps you on your path to mental well-being and I'll see you soon. Ciao!